after getting myself three clauses down a linguistic road that I couldn't get myself out of, I'm just going to read the um, words on the back of this can that someone else came up with, instead of trying to come up with a more clever intro myself. The Rain City Roast by Rubens Brews. Coffee is probably our second favorite beverage, and over the years we've enjoyed experimenting with it in different beers. Bright and smooth with a touch of sweetness, this cream ale is made with pale and pilsner malt, a small amount of flaked corn, and coffee from our friends and frequent collaborators at Kuma Coffee. Hey, I'm chewing the brew, and I'm going to have two of my favorite things at once. There are beers, usually darker beers, that have a roasty character where that roasty character presents itself in a coffee way. And there are beers where coffee is an adjunct. That is, they actually use coffee, grounds, beans, whatever, sometimes actually expressed coffee itself, as an ingredient in the brew making process. This is one of the latter. Specifically the note, they're using pale malts, so you should not expect any of the coffee flavor in this beer to come from roasted malts. All the coffee, such as you will taste, will come from the coffee itself, which is probably a good idea when you're trying to present a beer that's actually about the coffee itself and not just about the flavor of coffee derived from some other source. It's not to say that one way is better or worse. A good brewer will know how to use either the methods, roasting, or the ingredients coffee beans themselves to produce a good product. This just happens to be one of the latter. So first off I do note that for being very light like Pilsner malts, um, pale and Pilsner malts, this is kind of dark which makes me think that the coffee grounds or coffee beans probably gave more than simply flavor and aroma to this beer. It could be that the color in this beer is also from the coffee. Though, pale is a, a broad enough category that it could be from the, from the grains as well. Or both. Why not both, right? Oh, <laughs> oh. oh that smells like coffee. That, I mean, that smells like opening the door of like a nice coffee shop. And you get this, you know, that kind of warm, especially if it's winter, right? That's the best time to open the door to a nice coffee shop. You, you step in and like the whole building has just been steeped with coffee. Those those oils and essences are are in the, the wood and the, the, the furniture and, and they're just, you know, soaked into the, um, the structure of the room itself, right? Hmm, that's nice. There's a... A bready character to the quality. Uh, a bready character to the quality. Uh, I can talk. <laughs> There's a... Sorry. There's a bready character to the coffee uh, that's that's very pleasant as well. Like, um, it goes from, from this really nice, like, coffee shop coffee. And then as it's finishing up, it's... Your, your brain is starting to think, oh, wait, this is toasted bread. Right? Both very good things. Super good things. Mm, yeah, good stuff. Uh, I'm not going to say it's a one-note wonder on the nose. Like I said, it, it, it's already taken a bit of a path from this really nice, like, old coffee in, in, in a building that's all about coffee to, uh, like, a toasted bread. Um, but there is also a hint of sweetness, and that's probably coming from the corn. Corn is... Um, very American addition to beer. It's cheap and it's plentiful and so it's cheap and it it adds a lot of sweetness. Uh, you won't often find a craft beer advertising their use of corn because it kind of has a bad reputation in the craft community mostly because macro beers are all about the corn. Um, they're using corn in huge quantities because it's cheap and um, they can produce the flavors that they want in the beer, such as they are, using corn. Um, this is not that. This has a small amount of corn, but there's definitely the corn definitely brings a sweetness to the beer. 
and I'm wondering if that is a sweetness that I smell. <laughs> Just once through, once more through that door. Hey, I'm here to get good coffee. I smell this room. I know I'm probably gonna get good coffee. So it has that that creamy, that creamy head, and then it does have this slightly thick, very nicely creamy taste. Uh, then you get into coffee, and and it's a very dry coffee, a drip coffee, or maybe a pour over like a Chemex. Uh, it's you're getting the essence of the coffee in the flavor as well. It's already coming through your nose. Now it's coming in through your mouth, and and it's this really nice pairing with the cream ale. The cream ale is bringing the sweetness and the coffee is bringing the character and the bitterness and together they work well. Targeting a sweeter coffee, which you might find in a, uh, in a stout or a porter would probably be the wrong thing to do in this beer because then you'd have all the sweetness of the coffee and no cream sweetness, no cream ale, cream ale sweetness. So I'm going to say this, I like what they're doing with this beer. It's quite tasty. Um, it has enough of its own self in here that I could drink this by itself. Like this can actually be a savoring beer, which is kind of surprising for a light colored beer. Uh, I might have said that more than once recently though. I think I said that about a Kolsch the other day. Yeah, that's very nice. That's very nice. Um, yeah. I mean, it's like, <laughs> it's like the light colored beer equivalent of the sort of thing you want to be sipping while you're reading a book, right? The coffee with the book in the morning, or am I old enough to say the coffee with the newspaper? <laughs> coffee over the Facebook feed? Coffee cream ale over the Facebook feed? Eh, nah, don't do that. Well, Maybe maybe coffee cream ale over the YouTube feed. Eh? eh? <laughs> yeah, good beer, good stuff, well crafted. It it accomplishes what it set out to do, and I can ask nothing more. This has been me, Matthew, enjoying Ruben's Brews Rain City Roast, a coffee cream ale, and I will catch y'all on the flip side.